Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best free-to-play item farming strategy in Pets Leader 99. So recently I did this for pay-to-win players, but I decided why not make another one for free-to-play players. Because I have been asked a few times to do another method but for free-to-play players, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So if we go to Enchants, this is my current pay-to-win loadout. I did change it a few times since the last time I made this video. But anyways, let's just start the free-to-play method. So let's just say you have like 50 pets like me because I don't really upgrade my stuff. So we're going to go all the way to the final area, which is area 174. So let's just go there. There are a few other people here, but it should be fine. So I'm going to be doing this in a public server because most free-to-play players don't have private servers to grind in. Anyways, if you don't want to deal with these people, you can just probably go into this area, the area behind it. It might not be that good, but it still works. Okay, so you want to get a really good loadout so basically what I'm gonna be doing is remove all of these I won't be using boss chest mimic because most people don't have this and it's very expensive so we'll, we'll use a lucky block because a lot of people should have this and then I won't use super magnet because again it's free to play and it's very expensive but you could probably get lucky block for about 30 million diamonds which isn't too much in this economy because everything's inflated so you want to use two treasure hunters you can do whichever is your best tier any tier works fine you want to have an item spawner whichever one you like the most personally i'm going to be going with lucky block because it's the cheapest one here so most people should be able to get it eventually and then you want to go down here you want to get a magnet enchant, but if you do have super magnet, you can just put it on. And then depending on your best pet, you either want to use criticals, strong pets, or you could just go for another treasure hunter. So some people probably do have this enchant slot, and this is a free to play slot, so I'm just going to be using this one, because I don't really have this yet. But yeah, still going to be 6 enchants. So put on a criticals 8, and now we have one more enchant slot. So you can do whichever you want the most, you can do strong pets, you can do diamonds, or treasure hunter 8, I'll just do treasure hunter 8. And that's it for your enchants. And again, if you don't have lucky block, you can replace it with strong pets, or treasure hunter, or criticals, whichever you would like. Or if you have any summoners, like any enchant that spawns items, then make sure to use that. And then for items, you're going to want to use max rainbow fruits you want to use max bananas oranges pineapples watermelons and apples and then you're going to want to use some toy bones toy balls and then squeaky toys you can use some of the christmas items if you do have them personally i won't be using them and then for potions just use whichever is your best if you have cocktails then make sure to use that as well as your best treasure hunter potion and your best damage potion you could go for coins too if you want, but I personally have max so I don't really need a potion for that. But you're gonna be getting way more drop from this. And then for pets, well basically just use your best pet. You could use exclusive stat pets or huges if you do have some. If not, that's fine, you're still gonna be getting some good items. And my best pet right now is the Rainbow Shiny Dominus Mushrooms. I don't have a Rainbow Dominus Alienus yet. But yeah, these are my best pets so we could just go into the last area. And as you can see, I'm already getting items. So for flags, you're going to want to either do fortune flag for diamonds, diamond flag, or hasty flag, whichever you want. Okay, as you can see, I just got a charm stone. That's pretty good. We'll just put the volume down again. Yeah, I'm going to be getting a ton of items here. But obviously, this isn't going to be as good as a pay to win method. Because you get more enchant slots. And then you have more pet equips and other stuff. But this is almost as good. But reminder, you're not going to be getting as much as I am. Because I do have a Super Drops Game Pass. And some of you may not have it. Also, this is optional. But you could go to Area 62. So we're just going to go there quickly. And then... You could empower all of your enchants. Like we could just go over here and then you can empower a tier 9 enchant. Which makes it do 
7% more drops for breakables, which is originally going to be 50. Or you could do a tier 8, which is going to boost it by... How much is that? 17? Yeah, I think that's 17%. But these do get a little bit expensive because you're, you're going to need to put down a ton of, well, low-level enchants. Which is going to cost you, a, well, a ton of diamonds. As you can see, for 100,000, I need to spend 11 million diamonds. And just one enchant costs 14,000. So yeah, that is going to be costly, but you could do it if you want to. I forgot to mention this while recording, but if you go to area... Which area was it? I need to remember. I think it was... Yeah, 159, okay. Okay, so if you go here, you... You can go in the treasure hideout if you have the key. Right now, I only have one, but that's because they're pretty hard to find because they do take a while to get. But if you do have one, make sure to go in here with your best enchant and your best potions. Because you do get way more items in here. You can probably get... Maybe, like, double, maybe triple your items in here. And without this, you'll probably be getting... Um, I don't know if I can calculate this correctly, but without super drops, it will be getting like around 500 to 1,000 items per hour, maybe something around that. It might be less, but yeah, it's probably something like that. It might be more or it might be less depending on how many pets you have, what's your best enchant, your best potions, and yeah, just stuff like that. But yeah, you'll probably be getting like 500 items per hour. I can't really get an accurate number because I haven't tested it yet and because I have a super drop so I can't test it but if somebody can test it in the comments and then let me know what you got per hour that would be very useful so thank you anyways yeah you can get way more items in here because I tried this before and I got like I think I got like four or five thousand items in 30 minutes so for one hour I'll be getting like 10,000 items with my best loadout and that's with super drops my best items and then having eight enchant slots but yeah, this is actually really OP for anybody who wants to try it. So yeah, make sure to use the treasure hideout whenever you can. But anyways, I know some of you guys don't have high level enchants. So that's why I'm going to be giving away some tier 8 enchants to people who comment on this video. So make sure to drop your username in the comments and then I'll choose a few people to give tier 8 enchants to. I'll be giving away strong pets, tap power, treasure hunter, and then some criticals enchants too. So make sure to comment down below your username and then I'll probably choose like three to five people to give tier 8 enchants to. And hopefully that can help you guys grind some more items. But anyways, that's about all I had for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. And let me know if I should do an updated pay to win method on this. Because there are higher level enchants and you can do a lot more in the game with the new update. Or let me know if I should do a free to play diamond method next. But anyways, that's going to be for this video. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. So yeah, bye.